Yo, what is up guys? So for today we're talking about Destiny 2. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at how to better Destiny 2 because if you guys you guys probably know this, but for the few who don't, Destiny 2 is not in a good place right now. Uh, just from so many avenues, like content creators are dipping out. The game itself is just kind of not good. Like Trials is not that great. PvE is not that great. It's just all around this it's hemorrhaging it's it's fucking dying and hopefully bungie can fix this because i don't want this ga game to die like i know i talked the maddest shit but ultimately i don't want this game to die because i love this universe i love everything about it so i'm not really trying to have destiny die so instead of making a state of destiny 2 video or something like that i thought why not maybe i could share my opinions on what destiny 2 would need to make it good again and i don't want this just to be like my thoughts i would love to hear what you guys have in the th in the comments below let's have a conversation hopefully bungie can see this and maybe we inspire them to do something uh i know my channel is really small and if they saw my other content they would probably be like no fuck this guy banned or vetoed but just know that all of my criticisms everything that i've ever said about destiny 2 it's came coming from a place of love because i love this I love this game like believe it or not so yeah let's start off with the first uh thing that we're going to talk about which is going to be strikes and so i don't know if i said this or not but i'm going to be making a playlist of just like different topics that i'm going to be talking about i don't know how far i'm going to be able to make it but we'll see so the first thing we're going to talk about is strikes and nightfalls specifically strikes first because there's a lot of things we could talk about about strikes specifically strikes need to get difficulties back again so normal strikes heroic strikes that's really it that's all you really need you don't need anything else so just normal and heroic just make it a little harder the reason i want the difficulties back is because i want strike specific loot to come back now a great way to reward different loot pools would be to make different difficulties so like let's say you really want to get some stuff from destiny like old uh nightfall specific loot then you would run the normal difficulty and then once you're done you a box would open and then you have a chance to get all of the old destiny to nightfall specific loot like mind benders and all that stuff you get it from just playing normally now the new strike specific loot like the new stuff that they would make would be from heroic that one not only does the regular box spawn but it also drops with a new box where that's where you get the chance of getting stuff now what i would love to for them to even do like a step further would be like let's say you really want a specific weapon so like mind benders i would really love to see them just you'll be able to click on the strike and then do either normal or heroic and just do it from there that way you can have like you can farm it more efficiently and i think a great trade-off would be like maybe the percentage is a little lower and with this with this idea it would completely remove the nightfall strikes like this one right here it would completely remove it because ultimately you'd be able to farm whatever you want there's no point in having this when it's just three at a time in my, in my opinion so i would love for them to just take that out like take this shit out and then put guided games into this if they really want to keep guided games so vanguard strikes should have a vanguard strikes normal and heroic like right here and right here and speaking of strike specific loot so some of the new destiny 2 players probably don't know what strike specific loot is in destiny 1 we had just strikes and you would run strikes on the heroic difficulty and you had a chance to get armor or weapons specifically from that strike. But if I remember correctly, you have to use like a currency called a uh, skeleton keys in order for like, you to open the box. I think that would be a great way. Either that or just make it to where you open it after each strike. Now... I would love to see keys come back but that's just me being like a destiny one fanboy at that point but like i said if we could freely farm strikes i think that would be a great way stepping like a great step forward in my opinion so i have a lot of ideas when it comes to strike specific loot 
Like, especially when I look back at some of the armor from Destiny 1, or when I remember some of the strikes from Destiny 1, I think the, the reason why strikes are not as impactful or iconic as they were in Destiny 1 is because there's nothing amazing to them or so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lie some of the designs just not there like I think my, my favorite from Destiny 1 is the Cerberus V3 which is the Valis Tark one the famous one the we've stepped into the war the Cabal on Mars that one that's my favorite strike mostly because I used to do that by myself on Nightfalls with a icebreaker and I can tell you right now that every time I think about it just memories come flowing and it's just it's one of the, my, my like happiest moments in Destiny 1 because it was just me trying to do something really difficult by myself at the time. So I just really want strike specific loot to come back because with that we can have enemy inspired armor, unique weapon models. I think a, a, like a great change would be like to distinguish itself from Destiny 1 would be let's say, let's say you do the Exodus Crash strike and you beat the boss you have a chance to get his blades as either a sword or daggers which would probably be a new weapon type which would be cool or if it's armor have it either be the the same armor for each class or preferably what i would want is have it change to each class's like different look so like let's say for the hunters we get the Thavix, that's his name, Thavix is cloak where you, it covers your your face. I would be super okay with that. Titans could get their, his robotic legs and Warlocks could get a chess piece that it's inspired by his robes. That way we can get more unique armor and weapons in the rotation of the strike pool because I can guarantee you some of the coolest armor in Destiny 1 was strike specific loot. Uh, I'll give you a good example. I'll have a few pictures of some of the armor from destiny one right now and for the titans it was something mauler i don't remember off the top of my head but it was really cool because you literally got that boss's arm as your arm another great example is the hunter's cloak for i forget what it's called i always forget what it's called but you get the cloaks from the three scions I'll show it up right now. It's one of the coolest ones because you get three cloaks and it's void, solar, or arc singe. So it's really cool. It's, oh my God, it's so cool. And some of the coolest moments was me and my friends just trying to farm for really cool armor sets or in Mago Loop. Like it's not just armor, it's weapons as well. I'm telling you guys, strike specific loot is, is sorely needed right now, especially like have you ever just thought like, oh shit, like I'm just gonna get on the night on on the strike playlist and just do a few strikes for like a good two hours? No, no one's ever thought that because strikes kind of suck in Destiny 2. The best way to do that is to implement strike specific loot. That way, you could just chill, do whatever you want, and you'll always it's or not always it's a chance, but you'll have a chance to get something really cool. So, me personally. Strike specific loot is really like the thing I want to like just punch into you. Strike specific loot would introduce new weapon models, new enemy themed armor, or like let's say for example, the the Drifter Strike where you fight the that big old bu that big bubble. I forget his name and the strike itself, but like it's in the Tangled Shore. That one you can give us literally drifter themed armor that would be amazing i i could literally do this i could talk about strike specific loot for each strike till the end of time i really could but i don't want to make this this video super long so i'm just going to keep it at that make strike specific loot that has unique weapon designs and enemy inspired armor or just thematic armor now this isn't strike or nightfall related but it is in the strike playlist so the daily heroic story missions i feel like we could get go away from that now it was cool when we had it i think the best thing to do is just give us back the ability to replay old missions and for me personally i would love that because 
in Destiny 1, believe it or not, we actually did play a lot. Now, we did do it for cheese reasons, but at the same time, we still did it. Like, I can't... How about this, Bungie? Give us the ability to do... To play our old missions again. But give us, like, basically a daily heroic story, like... What's it called? A challenge? Do a challenge of it where we could do whichever one we want. That way, well, I know most people would probably do, like, the fastest one. I would probably just do, like, whatever one. Maybe give us an incentive to, like, do others. Like, if you do three different ones, you get a tier three instead of a tier one reward. You know? Stuff like that. Now, the only thing that I'm going to say about Nightfalls, because I don't have much to say about Nightfalls, is Nightfalls actually are in a pretty good space right now, aside from this one. I feel like this one's kind of a waste of time to, for me, in my opinion. That's why I said Heroic Strikes, replacing this would be amazing, because... There's no point in running those Nightfalls anymore. The Nightfall Ordeal. So there's a few things I like and hate about it. First and foremost, the fact that these two are matchmaking. I like that's really cool. But since we have Grandmaster, I would love if Legend became matchmaking as well. Mostly because getting the 100k is really annoying, if not almost impossible sometimes with either the team you have or because you just don't have enough enemies, which means you have to like farm outside of the strike. So giving, giving us legend for matchmaking would be awesome because that means like people like solo people like me could do it without having to go into like forums to look for people. So this is where I'm for me, I'm just kind of like, uh, I don't know. Personally, master is fine like that for sure. I know. But grandmaster, in my opinion, it's just not worth it for me. Uh, why would I do this over master? I know master gives you enhancement prisms and the Grandmaster doesn't. But at that point, Enhancement Prisons are still needed. Ascendant Shards are the only ones that change in the Grandmaster, which they just become common. Personally, I don't think that's enough of a change, especially when you really look at all of the modifiers and it's all negative. It's just like, fuck, dude. Like, what the actual fuck? Obviously, Grandmaster's not out yet because it's not the 21st, but I just, why would you run Grandmaster? For for specifically, if you're just like, oh, I just want rewards, Master's the best one to do because you get exotic gear, enhancement prisms, and ascended shards. Grandmaster just bumps up ascended shards to common. You want to know the real reason why you would want to do Grandmaster? It's for this. For the ability to have the Almighty title, if I remember correctly. It might be this one, but... No, it's only for this because you have to complete almost all of the nightfalls on Grandmaster's difficulty, which when I saw this, I was like, there's no fucking way I'm doing all that shit. Fuck all of that noise. And I do apologize if I'm cussing a lot and I don't want I want to make it professional as professional as I can be, at least. But it's just that there's not enough reward for me to actually care about it because it's just it's a title. I have titles already. I don't really care about anything else. Now, there's people who are like, oh, I love titles. I love this and that. That's fine. I really don't care. You could like it all you want. But if I'm talking incentive, it's just, it's not there for me. It really isn't. So for Grandmaster, I would probably put something else there. I don't know what it would be. I would love to know. I would love to hear your comments about this. Do you think it's fine? Do you think it's not? Let me know in the comments below. But me personally, like I said, I don't think it's worth it, especially when you can just run Master shit or Legend, but Master, you get the Ascendant Shards. They are uncommon, but at that point, I would much rather do that. The only good thing about Grandmaster is you just need to complete it. There's no timer that you don't need to kill all the champions. It's just complete it and you'll get stuff. So that is cool. So there is probably like some cheese like way to do it. So like maybe... A nightfall, a specific nightfall could come out where you can skip like almost everything just to get to the boss. At that point, yeah, that would be cool, but that's not something Bungie would like. Like, let's be real. Bungie would want to want to see us like kill everything, like a hard fought win. But at that point, again, the rewards do not match that difficulty, in my opinion. So that's actually pretty much it. I did not want to make this video super duper long because it's just. 
I really did it. Uh, I made this video before and it was like 30 minutes long. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. If you guys want to follow me on my social media outlets, links are in the description below. Thank you everyone for the constant support. I really do appreciate it. Be safe, guys. The world's crazy right now. Just don't sneeze in people's faces and you should be good. And other than that, I will see you guys later.